ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm here to talk about The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. This was published in 2014 and the edition that I read had 240 pages. I actually checked this out via my interlibrary loan program and it has long since been returned. The Opposite of Loneliness is a collection of short fiction and essays written by Marina Keegan. Marina Keegan was a recent Yale graduate who passed away five days after her graduation. She had a very promising future ahead of her. She had already nailed a job at the New Yorker magazine and had been published and broadcasted on NPR. Marina Keegan, I believe, was only 22 years old at the time of her death, and most of the work presented here was written during her college education. And while I found a lot of it very inspiring, you could definitely tell that this was written by an undergraduate student. It still showed a high amount of promise. I found that her short fiction, while I haven't read a whole lot of short story collections, actually I can't remember the last time I read a short story collection of my own accord outside of an academic setting, so it does speak volumes for the fact that I actually could get through it, or maybe I'm just completely mistaken about my taste and I actually do like short fiction. But the thing with Marina's short fiction is that I felt like each one of them, while they were completely separate stories and completely separate worlds, the voices sounded almost identical in most of them, and some of them were way too different to sound the same. I found that her writing was very ambitious, especially the, the fiction, but my favorite parts were definitely her nonfiction essays. They were very insightful and poignant, especially for someone my age or slightly younger than me. Of course, I am a pro book reviewer and didn't note the ones that I enjoyed the most. I did really enjoy the title essay, The Opposite of Loneliness, which I believe is where she got her most amount of fame during her life. I think it went viral the year that she graduated, maybe. It may have happened after her death as well. I'm not entirely sure. And that's really all that I have to say about the book itself. What I really wanted to talk about when it came to this book was how it kind of made me feel. Like I said, the writing in it was good, especially for someone at that level, but the thing that kind of weighed on me when I was reading this book was it was good, but was it worthy of being published? I kind of don't think so. And I think it's this over-romanticizing of death with young people that kind of got it published. And I also feel like if Marina was in any other economic class of people that this book may not have gotten published either. I think that Marina came from a higher class family. She was going to one of the most prestigious and expensive schools in the United States of America. She had access to teachers and writers who were already published who could get her work known. I feel like if this was someone anywhere else with the same exact writing, they wouldn't have had the opportunity to have it published. Also, I feel like it's kind of strange. I can't speak for Marina, but I don't know that she ever planned on these things to be published. So it's, I don't know, it just, there was something that felt icky about this book. Like I feel like it was only published because it was a wealthy, upper-class American who had access to people who could get her work published. And there was just something icky about that. I did enjoy the writing. I found it charming. And I read it rather quickly, and it actually gave me hope for future short story collections. But I just, I want to know if there's anyone else out there that thought about these things or thinks about these kind of things when it comes to like posthumously published work, especially since she was so young. I hope that this doesn't come off as being insensitive. This is just how the book made me feel overall. I thought that the writing was good and decent. If you've read The Opposite of Loneliness, please, please share your input down below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other comments or insight that you'd like to share, please feel free to do so, and I will see you soon with a new video.